morning, a person was shot outside a food market overnight in Daytona Beach and later died. The shooting happened around 12.30 this morning on Orange Avenue. Right now, police are looking for suspects. Fox 35 has emailed the police department about any suspect information. We will bring that to you as soon as we get it. We're well, starting today. Traffic is going to be picking up even more at airports across the country, but we're really going to see it here in Orlando. Well, the United States has lifted the nearly 20-month ban on foreign travelers. Fox 35's Nestor Mato is live at MCO this morning. And Nestor, the first international flight arrives. Drum roll, please, this afternoon. That's right. You know how many people are posting on Twitter that they're dying to come back to Disney World? That is such a big deal for them. And you said at around 3 p.m. we are expecting our first overseas flight. It's going to be from Manchester, England over here. I do want to show you the how it's looking right now. This is the security check-in. It's been going up and down as far as busyness throughout the morning if you've been with us. And this afternoon it should be much busier as we expect those incoming international flights. Now, Orlando International says pre-pandemic, the airport saw roughly 7 million international travelers every year, and it estimates that about half of them were from England. So this will be a big boom for our local economy. More than 30 countries will be affected. So here's what you need to know. International travelers over 18 years old must be fully vaccinated. Incoming foreign visitors and returning U.S. residents must have a negative COVID test within 72 hours of arrival and unvaccinated visitors must show a negative COVID test within one day of departure. Again, we are waiting for that first flight to make its way this afternoon. If you have plans to travel, give yourself plenty of time because first day hiccups, you might see some slowdowns. I'm live at Orlando International Airport. Nestor Mato, Fox 35 News. Nestor, thank you. Coming up in less than 10 minutes, we're going to talk live with Orlando International Airport CEO Phil Brown about how the airport is preparing for this influx in travelers. Right now, children ages 5 to 11, they can get their 